In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32, the famous parable known as the parable of the prodigal or the lost son. We are beginning very strongly now to look towards Lent. And as we do so, the Church wants us to examine ourselves very carefully and think about how we're going to come before God, how we're going to amend our lives. The first reading you will find is all about that. And the readings for Saturday, that have been yesterday, strongly emphasise this living a righteous and good life. Anyway, in this parable, there are several characters. There is the younger son, there is the older son, there's the father, and then there are two more characters that I'll introduce to you in a moment, but you'll have to hang on towards the end to find out who they are. So we start off with the younger son. He wishes his father was dead so that he could get all the money that is due towards him. So the father amazingly gives him the money and off he goes. You know the story. But a time comes when he realises that he has become a pig. He's living in the pigsty. He is hoping to eat what the pigs eat. So in fact, not only has he not really become a pig, he's become worse than a pig. And you can imagine how that would go down in first century Judaism. They would have been horrored and sucking in their breath with horror of this son who has become lower than a pig. So what does he do? Realizing that he's like a pig, or worse than a pig, he decides to repent to turn himself around and hurry back home. That is the younger son. Then we have the attitude of the older son. The older son is dutiful, but he isn't loving. He's not really even engaging in life, which at least the younger son has done. The older one, he's one of those bitter people who does everything right, but not because he is filled with love. He does it because he feels he must. And deep down inside, he's angry. He's angry with the younger son. He's angry with the father for forgiving him. He's angry that there is a party going on. And he's angry that he hasn't even got a goat to celebrate his own dutifulness, but not his love, with his father and with his friends. Then, of course, we have the father. The father has been sitting on top of the house, on the watchtower, looking out for his younger son all of this time. He knows he's gone off. He knows his younger son is not really worthy of him. But he loves him. He's full of love. He's full of longing for his son. And when finally he sees in the distance that his son is there, he hurries off, calling to his servants for clothing, for rings, for shoes, even the poor old fatted calf. And he restores his son to his place within the family. There are undoubtedly going to be consequences and probably the father is going to want some big changes in the younger son's life. But for this moment, he is filled with delight that his son who is dead is now alive. The one who is lost is now found. And then <laughs> there's another important character. And that was well, a group of characters. These are the swine, the pigs. The pigs, you know, they don't change. They remain pigs. Very frequently, we find that we ourselves are the pigs. Now, the younger son realised that he was lower than the pigs. 
but he wanted to change. But the pigs did not want to change. They wanted to carry on wallowing in the mud and eating the swill and other things that pigs do. And so many people are in fact, they are pigs. They're not like the son who wants to repent. They're like pigs who don't wish to repent, but want to carry on living exactly like they are. And that, of course, is a big problem. And then there's the final character. And that final character in the story is you. Because the Lord is telling you the story. He's saying to you, who are you like? And what are you going to be like? Are you going to be a pig? And just carry on as you are all the way through Great Lent until Pascha arrives. Are you going to carry on wallowing in that mud of sin? Or are you like the older son who is full of your own self-righteousness that actually you're quite angry at everybody else? Are you going to be like the repentant sinner, the boy who realised that he was lower than the pigs and start hurrying back to your father in heaven who loves you and is looking out for you eagerly all the time with the shoes prepared, the fatted calf sitting in its stall, the cloak and the ring all ready to be worn so you can be returned back to the household of God. Which are you going to be like? Maybe you're the father and as you look out around the world, you see also many people who are living like pigs. But instead of getting angry and bitter about them, you are filled with love and hope and expectation that one day they too will return back to Christ. And when they do, you will rejoice with all of your heart because you're one or other, or maybe all of those characters. The repentant one, the judgmental one, the loving and forgiving one, and the indifferent pig. Okay, Sunday of the Prodigal. Not long now till Lent begins. Begin to raise yourself out of the mud and look towards Pascha and all that the Lord has done for you and all that he has prepared for you as you repent and come towards him. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen.